Hey everybody, welcome to JSTAR Designs. For this week's episode of JSD TV, I want to introduce you to my guest in studio today, Dior Denim Jeans. And I'm kind of excited because um, anytime I can examine a pair of you know high-end designer jeans, that's an event for me. I find it interesting. Um, I got a hold of these because one of my daughter's friends needed some Dior jeans tailored. And when he said tailored to me, I thought, I don't know what that means. I said, do you need them shortened? And he goes, no, that's not what I need. Um, you know, I need, them, I need them fixed. So I said, well, why don't you bring them over to my studio and try them on and show me what you mean by that. So before I get into all of that, let's take a look at the jeans themselves. Um, I have to admit I was slightly, I don't want to say disappointed, but you know, from the outside appearance of them, they look like a pair of old Levi's jeans. You can see here they're very stonewashed. They're very soft. I can feel that the denim is a really high quality though. It's very soft and it's very um, heavy. There's no stretch. They're 100% cotton. Some of the details that I thought were kind of cool. If you look in at the fly, this pant hook, which is the closure instead of a tack button. See, it sort of has this very clean finish. The pant hook is actually attached to the waistband by some sort of rivet under there. So it's not just the kind of pant hook that has those metal teeth that you, you know, pierce the fabric and anchor it that way. These are actually riveted in, which I thought was kind of cool. And you can feel it's extremely high quality and heavy duty. So I thought that was kind of cool. The buttonholes in the button fly are very open. You can see they look like teardrops, which is really an exaggeration of an open shape from anything that I have in my closet. And I do have some high-end jeans that I bought in the spirit of research, like uh, True Religion and Rock and Republic jeans. Those are my two favorite brands. But these, these really bring a new meaning to an open buttonhole. I think that makes them probably really easy to get on and off um, or open and closed. And I find it very interesting that this outer face of the button fly is just turned under like that. So you can see that's just hemmed along the outer edge. And then you just have this double layer of denim which makes the buttonhole area. And then you've got your buttons on the side. So it's a pretty cool closure. On the inside, the defining feature would be this leather um, Dior label. Uh, Dylan thought that was very cool. It is kind of cool. I think I find it kind of like, I don't know, sweaty or maybe it would I could feel like I'd feel it, I think, on my skin, but he thought that was very cool. There are two things about the design of them on the inside I want to show you, and then I'll get into what he wanted me to do to them and where we are in that. Just turn them inside out. I did find it strange that where he bought them, he, they recommended that he didn't wash them a lot. You know, he made it sound like it was the protocol for a salvage denim um, or a raw denim kind of jean where you want, don't really want to wash them. These have been put through the ringer already with the stone washing, so I would feel pretty safe washing them. I think I told him, I said, as long as you don't maybe kill them in the dryer, maybe just wash them on gentle and then let them dry naturally, I think, you know, I'd probably be okay with that. All right, so on the inside, you can see that there's a little mini dart here, and I've sewn those on some of my jeans, which I think they're kind of cool. They make like little whiskers. Um, the cool thing about this one is it goes through the back leg, and then it's also joined, like if you look at the pocket from the right side, you can see it's repeated on the pocket as well. So I thought that was kind of a cool detail. And then the other thing that I thought was really cool on the inside is the pocket bags. Now, I'm, I know that some of you have been following along and know that my Pontinet jean pattern is almost ready. And as a matter of fact, the pattern sheets are done. The instructions are done. I'm just waiting for my cover art, my photography for the cover to be finished so I can get them ready and launch them. So I'm projecting that that pattern will be available 
maximum a week and a half. So I'm super excited about that. And that pattern, in that pattern I designed a one piece pocket facing pocket bag and it folds up from the bottom. Well, I thought this was kind of cool. This pocket bag folds from the side. So it folds here and it flips like this, you know, under. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, and then other than that, you know, I really, besides having very luxurious ribbon uh, labels for the sizing and the content and the care instructions, you know, there really isn't anything that I would consider like super remarkable or fancy about these jeans. So, um, I don't know, but I think it's really cool to be able to look inside and see how, you know, a brand like Dior is made because I've never had that opportunity. So, and I think I will have the opportunity to actually take them apart to a certain degree and then sew them back up. So, um, I'm not going to do that though until I'm absolutely sure that we're, we and D uh, Dylan and I are on the same page because the reason why he needed them tailored was because apparently Dior jeans are all made one in seam length. So, I will just measure it for you because I'm curious now that um, he said that. So this goes to, let's say it goes to like here. So that's a 39 inch inseam. That's very long. Um, and on him, they were very long. And his issue with the fit, he didn't want them hemmed. He wanted to create stacks. Um, raise your hand if you know what stacks are. You notice I'm not raising my hand because I had no idea what he was talking about. So he explained to me that what what the problem was on him, they were all, you can see even just like from this hem right here, that they were getting crinkled up at the bottom and they were hanging straight from the knee down and puddling, you know, on top of his shoe. And apparently what stacks are is that crinkle or the wrinkles or the gathers all the way up the leg from the knee down to the hem. So it doesn't just fall at the bottom, it actually makes like a sharp hay going down or up your leg to your knee. So this is before I um, researched the situation. I pinned in these pleats, these little gathers right here, and I said, all right, so the way these are right now, the only way I can get this to stay like this is if I create these little pleats. And so the plan was I was going to actually sew these in on both the side and inseam. And he seemed really happy with that. I'm so happy that I actually took the time to research what it is because it's not this. I mean, it is this, but that's not how you get it. So basically, this is, my, is a big thing, I think, with um, men's jeans. I didn't really see any examples on YouTube for women, but you could do it if you wanted to because it would work the same way. But essentially what you're doing is you're creating a skinny jean from the knee down, and then what that does is you can pull the jeans up over your calf so you'll get sort of a gathered effect around your knee and then the rest will be gathered below your knee and there'll be some gathers maybe along your calf as well but if you taper them so they're snug at your calf it'll hold the denim up over your calf and it'll be um, ripply at the knee so that's what stacks are and I watched several videos on how to create stacks and you know I have to hand it to these young guys they're probably early 20s and they one, one of them actually got his seam ripper out and showed how to take the hem out and how to taper the jeans so you could make these stacks. Um, another one actually got his Niagara starch and said he didn't give a blank about what it said on the can. He was just going to spray and he sprayed and he ironed and he got his stacks by stiffening the fabric and then making it scrunchy. So, there was a lot of entertaining and very informative tutorials on how to make these stacks. And I forwarded them to Dylan and I said, I want you to watch all these and then we'll sort of agree as to whether or not you want me to take these um, $700 he paid for them jeans apart from the knee down and taper them in so you can have stacks. So that's what my topic is today. Um, I really wanted to share these jeans with you because I thought they were very cool. Um, and then the other thing is I learned something new, how in 
mostly menswear, I'm guessing, you can you create stacks in your jeans by having a super skinny um, from the knee down. Now, the interesting thing is they didn't like the skinny from the knee up because they didn't want a skinny jean. They wanted sort of a relaxed fit in the thigh and hips, but then they you know, would start at the knee and taper. So it's gonna be really interesting to see what Dylan decides in the end. Um, clearly, I'm not sewing in these little pleats because I think people would laugh at him. I'm kind of glad I researched that. So um, I'll be waiting to hear from him once he watches those YouTube videos. I will link some of these YouTube videos into the post that goes with this. So if you want to see um, examples of stacked jeans, um, you can do that. Um, I found it interesting that one of the goals of stacked jeans was to show off your sneakers. So, you know, you sort of um, have them in your high tops, you know, your Nikes or whatever, and you could, you know, the, the, the Sharpe leg um, shows off your high tops. So I thought that was kind of cool. And I feel like I learned something new over this whole experience. I haven't actually done anything to these jeans yet, but I will. Um, and I'm guessing going forward that Dylan is going to decide that he's going to want these tapered. And if that is the case, my quick tip for this week is going to be how to taper a pair of jeans. So quick tip Thursday this week might be quick tip Friday only because um, I want to do this as a running topic for this week and it might shift today. So I apologize in advance if it's not on Thursday, it'll be on Friday. Um, but I will um, follow up with this and I will keep you, you know, posted. If you have any questions about, you know, the construction of these jeans or anything about these Dior jeans that you, you know, want to know about or questions, please post them below or visit my blog at Jster Designs. And I will see you for a quick tip Thursday, most likely on Friday, um, when I, I'm hoping I will show you how to taper these jeans. So have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in a couple days.